Task scheduling in Laravel is a breeze because it is very easy to set up and very easy to use. We are going to use the Laravel backup package which is used to backup the database and the Laravel application. And to run the backup, to create the backup on our uh, Laravel application using this package, we need to run this command. But every time you need to run this command to have a backup. But it will be cool if you have a automatic system which will run this command. And here comes the task scheduler. So task scheduler is actually going to run a some simple command uh, after a specific interval of time. And here also comes the cron jobs. So we need to set up the cron job on our either on Windows if you are using Windows or if you are using Linux or Mac then you need to set up that also. So on Windows it's very easy you need to go to the task scheduler and then schedule the command but because we are on Mac we need to use this cron tab command to create the cron job. So you can see Laravel is also saying that this is the cron command you need to run and we have this five stars here. So every star has meanings. First star is for minute then hour, day of the month then month then um, day of the week so you can set up how this cron job is going to work to create a simple cron task you need to run this command and it is saying env then using editor whichever editor you want to use i want to use vim then cron tab hyphen e so this is going to create a new cron job for you so here we need to firstly give this command this command is saying that okay run this command every minute and then cd into the directory of our laravel application then run php artisan schedule run so this schedule run command will actually going to help us but we need to grab the path of our application so i will copy the path for app and then i will change it later so let's just delete this like here and then paste it and we don't want app here but you can see we have this space here so it will not going to take this as the full path so I will wrap everything inside a single quotes so now it will easily go inside this path then after that we need to run php artisan run schedule so it's very easy and now press escape colon wq write and quit so this will create a file and save everything that's done we have created a simple cron task so to check you can just say cron tab hyphen l and yes you can see we have this cron task this is working fine but now we need to set up the scheduler for our laravel application so now again go you need to define scheduler and define a scheduler we need to go inside the kernel file which is inside app console kernel make sure you go inside the console kernel not inside the http kernel so we are on the console kernel and here is the scheduler so this file includes this commands then this scheduler function and this commands function so we are interested in this one so it is saying okay run a command and what is the command we don't have to specify php artisan it will automatically take that we just need to say i want to run a command which is like backup and colon run but when i want to run this command i want to run it every minute just for showing you every minute otherwise i will say every day or every week like that so if you want to know the frequencies there are lots of things given here so you have full control of how you can run this command so there are lots and lots of things given here that's cool and now you you know that we have already set up this uh, uh, mail trap on this backup so whenever the backup runs we will get the email so we just need to wait for a minute to have this because we already have set up the command now uh, I think one minute has passed so let's go inside storage app backup but we cannot see that laravel package and we are also having this uh, email but it says mysql dump not found 
but what happened i have this mysql dump you can see it's working fine and we know that it is working because if we run php artisan backup run it is going to work everything fine and we will get the email successful backup so it is not working with the cron job why because when the cron jobs is running the cron doesn't know about the the environment variables so again i will open the cron tab and here just before running this command i'm going to set up the cron tab so here again inside this blog it's very easy given we need to firstly define this is a bash script we need to run and then we need to save all of these things from here and then we need to just paste it but now we need to give the actual path of our mysql dump so if i go and i will check for which mysql dump so i get this path so actually it is with the file but we just want user local mysql bin so i will copy from here and then i will give a comma colon and then paste it and then remove mysql dump because that is the actual file we just need to give the directory okay so then escape colon w q write and quit and then we just need to wait for one minute so that it will complete and it will create the backup for our laravel application so we just need to wait and just after one minute you can see we have this level we have this temp uh, backup dot temp file and also we are having this successful new backup level application so before we are getting this uh, error and now we have the successful backup so it will going to run every minute but we don't want every minute so you can set up it like whatever you want so it's very easy and you can do some other things with this cron jobs like you can set it for uh, run in background and you can just say daily so it will uh, uh, run daily you don't have to do, define any timing anything and you can send output of that also because this backup command is from this laravel backup and it is automatically sending the email but if you explicitly want to define some output and you want to do something yeah it is very easy but you can see after one minute it's also taking another backup so that's good and what else you can do you can have the before and after so you can check if before doing before running that task and after running the task you can do something on success on failure so there are lots of things to work upon and you can do all of these things but let's just go back here on this laravel backup you can see this laravel backup requires something so it require mysql dump require pg dump if you are using the postgres sql it require mongo dump if you are using mongodb so these are the things you need to make sure you will have on your uh, system and if you like this package go and write a postcard because this is a postcard where you need to send a postcard to spasi team to thank them for it this awesome package and if you like this video just you need to share with your friends hit a thumbs up and write your views on this uh, videos about this video what you like what you don't like just comment below and i will respond to you with uh, full of my heart so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye